good morning and welcome to Harvest Ministries. We are so, yeah, give yourselves a hand for being here today. Thank you. Um, it's a little dreary out, but it's not snow, so we're thankful for that. And uh, we are so excited that you're here today. It's a very uh, encouraging day. It's our Christmas program, which will involve our kids and our youth and our adults. So we have a great day planned, and we're glad you can be a part of that. I know there are lots of folks uh, who couldn't be here today due to sickness, uh, my wife being one of them. So hopefully they'll be able to watch online and enjoy the program this morning as well. But if you're here for the very first time, hopefully our greeter team welcomed you and gave you a little card that looks like this. And if you would take a moment just to fill that card out for us, and there's a box on the way out on the wall, just drop it in that box. And uh, I promise you I won't call you tomorrow. I won't come visit you tomorrow, but just let us know who's here, where you're from, and uh, so we would love to get that information if you'd like to give that to us. If we didn't get one of those cards to you, uh, there should be one of the seat back in front of you if you'd like to use that. But welcome to Harvest Ministries. I just want to make some announcements uh, quickly today. Uh, we have our ladies uh, Christmas party. That'll be uh, Tuesday the 12th at 6 o'clock at Olive Garden. So if you would like to go to that, uh, there's a sign-up sheet on the back table in the back of the sanctuary this morning. Ladies, you can sign up for that. And I think they're asking to bring a $10 gift to exchange. So if you'd like to be a part of that, please sign up so they can get an accurate uh, head count since it is this coming Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday night, we'll have our Wednesday night activities, uh, something for our teens, our youth, our adults, uh, kids, teens, adults. And I've been on a practice for two weeks now. I've been homesick, so... Uh, but uh, something for everyone. There'll be a meal provided at 5.15. There's no charge for that. Just make a donation if you'd like to. And this will be our last uh, Wednesday night of 2023. Get the rest of the week, uh, year off on Wednesday nights to get ready for the holidays. But uh, that'll be at 6 o'clock this coming uh, Wednesday night. We do have a food pantry that our church uh, sponsors here. Uh, on our campus, and if you'd like to participate in meeting some of those needs, you see some of the items listed on the screen or in your bulletin that we would like to have. If you could donate some of those, if you'd like to donate money, and they'll be passing food out this coming Saturday from 10 until noon. So if you're here and you need some food assistance, we'd be more than happy to help you as much as we can. Or if you know someone who needs food assistance, who's just maybe struggling right now, maybe they've been in, out of work for a while, uh, let them know, just come up here 10 o'clock on Saturday between 10 and noon, and our pantry workers will bless them the very best that we can. Next Sunday, our Christmas choir will be singing. They've got a couple of special songs they're going to be singing for us, so if you enjoy good music, you'll want to be here for that. Pastor Austin and Pastor Lindsay have been working with our choir for many months now, and so we're excited to hear them sing next Sunday as well. Also, next Sunday is the youth uh, Christmas party. So if you're a teenager in the youth group, uh, that Christmas party will be next Sunday morning at around 11 o'clock in the lower level. So please plan to be here for that, if at all possible. If you are uh, considered a senior, we call seniors joy around here, just older youth. And that's what we can refer to our seniors. Uh, and we put 55 and older. And I know if you're 55, you may not feel like a senior yet. But if you feel like you're a senior at 55, you're welcome to come and join us. And it's going to be on Tuesday, December the 19th. It's a Christmas potluck, so whatever you bring is what we're going to have. We may have all corn or all green beans or, you know, I don't know, all rolls. I don't know what we're going to have that day. But uh, whatever you bring, we'll have it. But there's a sign-up sheet on the back table if you'd like to sign up for that. And if you can be here, we'd love to have you join us. <clears throat> pastor uh, Alma, our kids pastor, and Pastor Robin, our youth pastor, uh, putting their uh, efforts together on um, December the 20th, which is a Wednesday from 2 to 4 p.m. Uh, they're going to take the Harvest Kids and the Harvest Youth. They'll be meeting at Bounce just down the road here. Now, this is a, a Christmas gift from our kids department and our youth department for our kids and our youth. So if your children or your teens attend Harvest Ministries, we want you to bring them out on the 20th to Bounce. And uh, they're going to get, I uh, think, pizza. Their drink is covered. And they can bounce for two hours. And there is a sign-up sheet. So you got to sign up on the back table uh, so they know how many to plan for. But it's going to be a great day. That they're putting this together. And so if you need a little break for Christmas break, uh, you can stay. 
with your kids, and if you can bounce if you want to, I'm not sure what bounce is all about, uh, but I guess you can bounce too if you want to, but, or you can drop them off and we'll take care of them. But please sign up today for that. But we are excited to have you here with us this morning. Uh, we want to go to the Lord in prayer. And then we're going to go right into our time of worship with our worship team. But uh, I'm going to ask you if you would just to stay with us this morning. And as we said, we know there are many people who are uh, sick and uh, not able to be here today. Maybe you know someone in your family who was sick and who was uh, having a difficult time even in their own life. Maybe you're having a difficult time. Maybe this season is a difficult season for you. And it's not all the happiness and joy that we sing about and talk about and and speak about during this time of year. Maybe you're having a difficult time, but uh, we want to go to the Lord in prayer, whatever you may have need of today, and then the worship teams will come right on. So if you would bow your heads with us. Father, we love you today. We thank you for your goodness to us and your mercy and your grace. Thank you for another Sunday to be in your house, those who are able to be here, Lord. And we know there are many who couldn't be here today who would love to be here in your presence. But Lord, we ask you today just to touch hearts and lives and minds that everything we do bring you praise and glory and honor. And as we uh, go into our Christmas program in just a little while, Father, I ask you to bless each one who will participate today, uh, calm nerves and calm fears and all those things that we deal with in our humanness. And Lord, let us learn the true meaning of what this service is really about. We ask you to bless our time together, we pray in Jesus' name. Everyone said amen. 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 God bless you this morning. Good morning, Harvest. Merry Christmas. Join us as we begin to worship.
this morning. Hallelujah. We worship your name. Have your way this morning, Father.
I was told to come up and kill a little time this morning while they do some scene changes. So I thought it looked better with the baby up here with me than just me by myself. This is my grandson, Jameson, in case you don't know him. Say, so, hey, buddy. And uh, Grandma and I had him all weekend, and she wasn't able to be here today, so I've been doing double duty. But uh, would you turn around and just shake somebody's hand that you know, shake somebody's hand that you wish you know, shake somebody's hand that you thought you knew, and just tell them Merry Christmas and Happy New Year this morning while we get some things switched around on our soundboard and all of our imagery. But. Hey, Jay, can we hand me my phone? It sure sounds good to hear all this happiness and joy this morning. Well, our crystal story on the day is entitled The Blue Overalls Angel. That's a mouthful. And uh, I don't know all the ins and outs of the program. I haven't been able to be here for all the practices. But uh, the setting is a small church, maybe a small country church. And uh, thus, you see, there's nothing really fancy behind us this year. And there's a young foster girl who was trying to find a real angel to be a part of her life. And she's going to go into this church. She's going to meet the church janitor who maybe thinks he's the pastor or acts like the pastor. And uh, he's going to help her find her real angel in life. And you just never know in a season like this who you may bless by kindness, generosity, just saying a nice word to someone, holding a door open for someone. And that's really what this is about. It's about finding the angels that God places in our lives throughout this season. And not just this season, but throughout the entire year. And so we want you to sit back, relax, enjoy your children, enjoy your grandchildren, enjoy your great-great-grandchildren, enjoy your spouse if they're in this program, whatever they may be. Pray for them. They have practice and rehearse. How many have ever been in a Christmas program before? How many remember how it was right before it was getting ready to start, okay? And if they mess up, we won't know they mess up because we don't know what the script is, right? And they're going to just keep on going. And they're going to be great with everything they're going to be doing this morning. It's going to be a fantastic program. So if you would turn your attention to the screens, we have a short video clip for you. The next voice you hear, I believe, will be Judy Ralph. God bless you. As the winter chill settles in, there's a special warmth that fills the air. As we adorn our homes with twinkling lights and gather with loved ones, let's take a moment to remember the true beauty of Christmas. Christmas is more than just a celebration. It's a beautiful story that transcends time. A story that began with a promise, a promise of hope to a world in need. Over 2,000 years ago, a divine promise was fulfilled. Mary and Joseph, guided by faith, embarked on a journey. Seeking refuge in a stable, Mary gave birth to a baby boy, wrapped in swaddling cloths and placed in a manger. In the quiet of that night, a divine light pierced the darkness, and the world welcomed the greatest gift, the birth of Jesus, the Savior of mankind. A celestial star illuminated the night sky, signaling the arrival of a promise, the greatest gift to the world. The air was filled with anticipation. The heavens declared the arrival of a savior. Shepherds in the field were greeted by angels. Wise men followed a star to their king. And all felt the peace of an answered promise. Welcome to Christmas 1937. We are so glad you've joined us as it's a very exciting time in our little town of Harvest. Our local church is preparing for its annual Christmas pageant, and it's going to be so wonderful. Joanna Neal, our church's music director, has invited Clarissa Moore, that famous opera singer from New York. 
She and Joanna were childhood friends, but no one could believe that she agreed to come. Why, it's the talk of the town. We are so excited for her arrival. Joanna's been on pins and needles, wanting everything to be just perfect. And Scotty McGregor, our church janitor, why, well, he's in charge of getting everything ready for the great Clarissa Moore. I wonder how things are going. Maybe if we're really quiet, we could peek through the church window and see what's happening. Oh, but wait, I see some carolers coming. Hey, kids. Everybody wave at the kids. I just love Christmas carolers, don't you? Let's just pause for a few moments before we peek through the church window and enjoy their music.
Mm-hmm. Hello. Well, hello there. Are you the pastor of this church? Pastor? Me in overalls? Nah, I'm janitor. I'm Jeannie. Well, hello, Jeannie. And why are you out here in church on Christmas Eve? Um, There's no service tonight, you know. I'm looking for a Christmas angel. Looking for an angel? I'm afraid I didn't hear you right. Why is a little girl like you looking for an angel? I'm not so very young. I'm 12. And besides, Christmas Eve is the best time to find an angel. They sing just like they did the night baby Jesus was born. Well, do they now? Says so in the book I read. Well, I don't recall reading that myself, but I wouldn't be one to contradict the book. I've looked and looked ever since dark. I want so much to hear an angel sing. Do you now? Well, if I wasn't so busy tonight, maybe I could talk to you about that, but I shouldn't be wasting my time even to talk about angels. You, you best run along home to your mother. I don't have a mother, and Miss Atkins won't care how long I stay. Well... Who is Mrs. Atkins? The lady who takes care of me, but I belong to the state. To the state? I didn't know the state could own little girls like you. Oh, yes. The state owns lots of us. Miss Atkins just boards some of us. Does Miss Atkins know you're out here in the dark all alone looking for an angel? I didn't tell her because she would just laugh. I like you because you didn't laugh. Do you? Yes. Now, what are you doing to that tree? Well, I'm trying to get it to stand just right. Why? Well, there's going to be a pageant rehearsed here tonight, and everything has to be just right. What's a pageant? Well, it's something that'll be very beautiful if people have Christmas in their heart. Oh, yes, indeed. Well, how would you know? Why, it's simple as simple. An angel wears a shining robe, and when she sings, it's the sweetest thing you've ever heard. Well, that's what the book told you? And there's a picture, too. Well, I wouldn't be one again to contradict the book, but, you know, Jeannie, I'm thinking that you got to have the right kind of heart to see angels, and you got to have the right kind of ears to hear their song. I'm sure I know an angel right away. Are you now? Certain sure. Maybe when you get all your work finished, you'd like to take a walk with me and help me look. Well, I'm afraid I'm too busy. I'll wait for you. Hmm. You know, I'm thinking if I had some rope, I could get this tree to stand just right. Jeannie. If I promise to take a walk with you in a little while, will you do me a favor? Oh, yes, indeed. Will you run to that store right there on the corner and get me some rope? Yes. Well, here you go. Now, you hurry along. Maybe I'll find an angel on the way. Well, whether you do or whether you don't, you come back here with my rope. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Scotty, <laughs> haven't you got the stage fixed yet? I mean, it should have been done an hour ago. I'm sorry, Ms. Neal. I had a hard time with those lights up there. Well, how are they now? Well, they look really pretty, Ms. Neal, especially the blue ones for that night scene. Well, I'm glad something is satisfactory to someone. This thing has got me crazy. This thing goes on tomorrow night, and we haven't had one complete practice. Not one complete. That famous singer's going to be here, ain't she? Yes, she ought to be here now. The whole cast is downstairs waiting. Waiting. I Scotty, don't... I tell you what, <laughs> it's going to be a long time before you find me wasting a perfectly good Christmas Eve practicing one of these Christmas pageants. I don't worry, Ms. Neal. She'll be here. 
Maybe she will and maybe she won't. No one was more surprised than I was when she even agreed to come all the way from New York to be in this thing. You don't know the great Clarissa Moore. Nellie and me, Nellie's my wife, you know. We saw that picture in the paper, you know, the one where she's getting off that train. Oh, the prettiest smile and the most beautiful flowers we ever seen. That's right. Well, that's about what I've seen. I mean, that's the only thing. Pictures is all I've seen. You know, she used to go here to Sunday school when she was a little girl. You know, all the papers are writing about it, Ms. Neal. They seem to think it's a big deal. Yep, no doubt about that. She is famous. Ah, so she is. You know, and what am I that she should even remember me? Someone who went to school with her years ago. You know, now I'm a music director of a little church, a directory of a director of a tawdry little Christmas pageant. You know, like I said, all the papers are writing about it. They well, seem to think it's going to be something. Oh, yeah, because she's going to be in it. Well, I'm thinking maybe you're right. But why doesn't she come? What is keeping her? Why, Joe, Anna, Neil, it is you, isn't it? Yeah, I'm so glad you're here. I thought you weren't coming. Sorry, I couldn't make it any earlier. Surely you're not annoyed. Of course not. Well, you look cross as a bear, and I thought you'd be glad to see me. I'm glad to see you. Well, why don't you just bite my head off and be done with it? Oh, I assure you, Clarissa. Never mind the assurances. I'm here. Although why a rehearsal is necessary, I fail to understand. After all, I'm no schoolgirl making her first appearance in public. Well, can we just not quarrel the first time we oh, meet? Oh, I'm not quarreling. Neither am I. <clears throat> then let's get started on this thing. I have an appointment later. Oh, you do? Of course. Now tell me, what am I expected to do? Well, the scene is a hillside near Bethlehem on the first Christmas Eve. This? Yes, this. The shepherds will be seated, and you will be the angel who announces the glad tidings. Well, of course I am. What other part would I have? Perhaps this is way too much for you to take this seriously. I suppose you expect me to come floating down from heaven? Hardly, no. You will come out on this small platform here, and um, the chorus will join you at the end of your song. I'm sorry, chorus? What chorus? Some young children of the church. So I, Clarissa Moore, am to sing with children? Oh, Ugh. Clarissa, please. Oh, I can bear it if everyone else can. Is that all? That is all. They're downstairs waiting for you now. Very well. I promise to sing and I shall. But don't think for one moment am I enjoying this. Don't think for one moment is this my way, a good way of spending Christmas Eve to me. Well, neither. I'm right there with you. I, I, I'm same there. Scotty, can you have everything done when we get back? No worry, Miss Neal. I will. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The man at the corner didn't have any, so I went to the next block. I ran all the way back. Well, thanks, Jeannie. I like doing something for you. Do you? Yes. Well, I don't suppose you saw any angels when you was out there walking, did you? No. Once I thought I heard an angel singing, but it was just an old lady with her arms full of Christmas bundles, humming to herself. Ah, Jeannie. I'm afraid your eyes ain't open yet. Maybe someday. My eyes are wide open, and I'm not a bit sleepy. Aren't you now? Well, I suppose when you get back to Ms. Atkins that you'll trim the Christmas tree. No, Ms. Atkins doesn't approve of Christmas trees. She says the needles get all over the carpet. Well, what a carpet's for, I wonder then. So, Jeannie? You won't have a Christmas tree? No, but I don't mind. Not very much. Is your little girl going to have a Christmas tree? My little girl, Nellie and me, she's my wife. We don't have any boys or girls, but she mothers the neighbor's kids when they let her borrow them once in a while. I didn't know anyone ever had a go around borrowing children. 
I thought there was enough of us, even extra ones like me. So, you're extra? All the state children are extra. Nobody wants us very much. Hmm. I see. You fixed it now, haven't you? You know, I'm thinking so, Jeannie. You know, the question right now is, well, what am I going to do with you for the next half hour during this practice? Before we take our walk? Yeah, before we go looking for angels. You know, see that stool right there? It's just my size, I think. Well, suppose you take it and move it way over yonder on that stage. In the corner. I'll be as quiet as a little mouse. Maybe no one will see me at all. All right. Now remember, not a peep out of you. Mice don't peep. They squeak, but I won't. I thought I said for you to be quiet as a mouse. Oh, I am, really. All right, I think they're set just right. Oh, how perfectly lovely. It's nighttime now. Again, I thought I said for you to be quiet as a mouse. Oh, I'm sorry, I will. All set, Ms. Neal. Oh, please don't forget the starlight above when she comes in. Oh, don't you worry. I won't forget. <sighs> the quicker this is over, the better I'll like it.
Janie! Oh, Scotty, Scotty, I found an angel. Why, how absurd. <sighs> I don't know, some urchin from the street. I'm so sorry you were annoyed like this. She has no business here. She, she's a homeless child, a ward of the state. Nobody to love her. She's boarded out to a woman that could care less about her. She came here tonight looking for an angel and wanting to hear an angel song. And I tell you, between the two of you, you've killed the dream of this little child. S Scotty, I don't understand. Oh, there's quite a bit you don't understand, Ms. Neal. You've missed the whole meaning of Christmas. You begrudge the time that you spend here on this pageant. You play that beautiful Christmas music with nothing but resentment in your heart. Scotty, maybe you're right. But what has this child to do with you? Well, don't you see? She came here asking me to help her find an angel. And what could she think when she saw you, but you were that angel? Oh, I see. Oh, I don't think you see yet. When she thought you were singing the Christmas song, the angel song, about the birth of Jesus, what did you care about the words of that song? All you cared about was how you looked, how you sounded. Well, I guess I did only think about that. Jeannie here, she knows more about that angel song than any of us here in this church tonight. You know why? Because she's got it in her heart, and that's where it ought to be. Well, I'm ashamed of myself. I really am. Because of my thoughtlessness, I've heard a little child tonight... I want to make it up to her. Buy her some of the things that she needs. What can we do? Count me in on that. I want to help too. I mean, maybe if she's a ward of the state, maybe we can find her. I can find her a better home. Ms. Neal, I'm thinking she's found that already. <gasps> Jeannie? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, I want you to stop that crying because when Nellie sees you, I want her to see that beautiful smile of yours. Well, what do you mean, Scotty? You're, you're taking her yourself? Well, that I am, Ms. Neal. Now, I'm going to have to work out some things with Ms. Atkins, and I'm going to have to work out with the state. But, you know, I'm thinking that from now on, my Nellie's not going to have to borrow any of the neighbor's children mothering. Oh. oh, that's great. Well, I'll back you in this, Scotty, 100%. Thank you kindly, Ms. Neal. Now, Joanne, I, I, I really do have an appointment. Perhaps we could walk part of the way together? I think I can walk all the way with you, Clarissa. Jeannie, you want to help me finish up here and clean up a little bit? Jean, Jeannie, why are you crying again? A big girl like you. I'm just so happy. I can't help it. Well... Then hum a song like this. That song, that little song you're singing, I know what it is. Well, you got me there. I don't even know what it is myself. Remember, you said it takes the right kind of eyes and the right kind of heart to understand about angels. Well, I believe it did say that. I now know what you meant. An angel doesn't have to wear a shining robe. An angel has to be kind and good. You are my Christmas angel. Well, who ever heard of an angel in blue overalls? I think an angel in blue overalls is the nicest kind of all.
Love incarnate, love divine Star and angels gave the sign Bow to babe on bended knee The Savior of humanity Unto us a child is born He shall reign And so, as we have seen and heard, the true meaning and spirit of Christmas is not found in the things we see or hear with our natural eyes and ears. But it is found when we look beyond all the lights, decorations, and presents, beyond the hustle and bustle, and with our spiritual eyes, we see the babe lying in a manger who was born in such humility. And then we look beyond the manger to the cross where he died for the sins of all mankind and rose victorious over death to give all who believe in him the hope of eternal life in heaven. When we see and experience 
the pure and perfect love of God demonstrated toward us through Jesus, then we have the right eyes to see and the right ears to hear why we celebrate Christmas. And in our hearts, we too can sing, just as the angels did the night of his birth, glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and goodwill to men. Amen? Amen. At this time, I would like to call all of our Harvest Kids back to the stage, wherever you may be seating, sit, sitting, I should say, as we have one final thing we want to share with you. Yeah, give him another cheer. Great job, guys. And uh, we want to thank everyone who was in the program. What a great, great job they did this morning. And uh, hope you brought some Christmas spirit and joy to you. And hopefully you will be someone's angel as the holidays progress. And uh, thank you for sharing your children with us and uh, your kids with us and letting them bless our service today. Um, I want to take a moment to ask Judy Ralph if she would come up, and I just want to thank her. Uh, she's been working on this for a long time, this program. And um, now if you've never directed a Christmas program, you don't know the torture you put yourself through to do this. But she did a fantastic job. Everyone came together. And Judy, this is just a token of our appreciation. Thank you Thank for you everything. So we love you. Amen. Can we give all the other people who started the program a hand this morning? Amen. Amen. 
I'm going to do something that is so out of character for preachers. It's going to blow your mind this morning. We're going to let you go home early today. Yeah, I got a few claps. Okay, all right, all right. But uh, we're going to let you enjoy your time. But before we do that, we receive one offering a week here. It's all we ask you to give. And so if you would like to give in our offering today, it is for our uh, local church ministries. And this, this offering helped fund the, the program that we did today, the, the things we had to buy, the things we had to, to do to make this possible this morning. And uh, it does our kids' ministries, our youth, our, our senior adults, our women's, our men's. It does all kinds of things for us. So if you would like to give uh, in this offering, we want to invite you to do that today. Now, we don't pass a plate. We haven't passed a plate or a bag uh, since COVID hit. Uh, we have envelopes in the seat back in front of me. If you'd like to put a check in there, just make it out to Harvest Ministries or cash, put it in there, write your name on it. We want to give you credit for it. Uh, you can use a Tidly app if you have that on your phone or download that real quickly. You can use it that way. If you're watching online and want to give a donation, our address is there, 909 Blue Ridge Boulevard, Roanoke, Virginia, 24012. Or you can drop offerings in the uh, back in the box on the way out. And we have a debit uh, a machine. You can swipe a debit or credit card, and you can give that way. But however you'd like to give today, if you'd like to give something uh, to support our local church, we would certainly appreciate that this morning as well. Uh, on your way out today, now we always do something for an offering. We'll do that in just a moment. But on your way out today, how many remember, since this was a throwback to the old church, how many remember the brown bags that they used to give you uh, can y'all turn the house lights up for me just a little bit? I can't see anybody but my hand right now. I need to see faces and, and hands. How many remember the old brown bags that you used to get at Christmas time? Anybody? Okay, there, there's the house lights. Now, we don't have brown bags, but we got a little stocking for you this morning. And we had some Christmas elves with all these stockings together last week for us. So on your way out, we want to give you a Christmas an apple and an orange and candy. It's just like the old days, except there's a bag of peanuts in there. But we want you to get one of those on the way out this morning. Now, what we always do when we receive our offering is we do an offering declaration. We believe that if we give back to God, God will bless us and give to us in return, not just financially, but in all kinds of ways. So I'm going to ask you to stand with us this morning, if you would. We're going to say our offering declaration together. Then we're going to give you a blessing this morning as well. And then we're going to release you. You do have to take your children with you, I think. That's a, that you have to get them today. Uh, there is a photo opportunity back here to my right, to your left. If you'd like to take a family photograph, please feel free to take as many photographs as you'd like to. We hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas holiday. If we don't see you again before then, God bless you. Have a wonderful Christmas. Could we say our offering declaration together this morning? As we give today's tithes and offering. We are believing for a supernatural release of God's favor over every area of our lives. Jobs and better jobs, checks in the mail, inheritances, secure investments, scholarships, creative ideas, healing for our body, soul, and spirit, deliverance to the captive, salvation to the lost, and an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Now say it like you mean it. We are blessed. And we will be a blessing to others in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you blessed this Christmas season? Amen, amen. Now receive the blessing for the week. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Have a wonderful week serving the Lord. Merry Christmas.